Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily hack Wi-Fi using your Linux distribution operating system computer. So to get started, we need we need four tools, and uh, one tools. The main tool is Wi-Fi T. Then uh, our there are other four tools. The first one is Wigate. Then the second one is Python tool. The fourth one is Preet. The fourth one is is Party. So let's continue. First of all, launch your terminal. Then to make it clear once then type sudo apt update you need to see for a check for updates uh, or maybe the install package won't be able to work on your on your computer so first of all always check if there is an update in, in an upgrade so the next will be sudo apt upgrade then when you upgrade if there is something that's upgraded and newly installed update your your uh, type sudo apt update again after you upgrade if there is a newly upgraded or installed but now there is no installed or upda updated upgraded uh, application or software so let's continue type now sudo it install wgate then press enter then it, because I have already installed it so uh, because I have already installed the wgate mm, it will only take uh, for new versions always if you uh, if there is a question like uh, y slash in uh, type one um, other sign stuff always choose why okay because it's mandatory I, if you doesn't accept the installation um, it doesn't ro work so let's continue the second rule sudo apt install python 2 then press enter so it's already been installed and there is no installation gradient so if uh, uh, that mean it doesn't have any installation it's already been installed in your distribution so let's continue p y r i t create sudo apt install create then press enter then I can, as you can see, I have already installed PIs already, so only the, it will check for new versions, an update or an upgrade. So let's continue now uh, to install Kalpati. Kalpati, I have this. Sorry, I have this uh, code over here that you can co copy paste. I'll put it in the description to make it more clearer. Zoom in. So let me show you. We get www.wheelhackforish.com slash code slash cowparty slash 4.6 slash cowparty slash 4.6 tgzdar. Then, as you can see, we have already done installing the four the four main tools now let's continue to the last tool that we're gonna install type we get https dot slash slash row dot g i t hub dot home slash d e r b 82 slash y p t slash matter slash y p t dot python python in source is written like this and as you can see this one is a a you know 
uh, a Google address. So if we copy this, then go to Chrome, you need a new tab, then paste it over here. Paste it over here, okay. Sorry. Oh, I need the full one. Open new URL. As you can see, there's an author that tells you everything about Wi Fi T, how you can connect WPS, WPS2, and WPS3 everything is over here okay let's continue now press enter because i've already installed it there is nothing to be installed newly so just let's continue by saying ls ls is a command that you use what uh, of if i for example if i open i have windows over here and enough i open it in terminal then press ls it will show it will show what the folder have uh, it have chrome desktop clipify geo4x desktop multi-drive desktop multi-drive.lnk nox desktop nox.lnk telegram desktop etc so let's continue over here then what i'm gonna do as you can see over here there are three Wi-Fi T's uh, I have made a TikTok video too as you can see there are Python their Wi-Fi T Py 1 Py Python 1 Python 2 and Python only Python so let's continue just to make it clear just fire CD Wi-Fi wi -fi T dot Py then press enter there is no directory, so let's continue. Python Python to Wi-Fi T dot Python. Then press enter. As you can see, it is automatically um uh, done. Then now, what you are gonna do is over here it have instructions that say your wi-fi team must run as root so i have posted a video that tells you how you can run as root so now let's continue so root press enter then confirm your password i'll put my the link in description then ls then press enter okay as you can see now it's scanning for wireless devices it's wireless automatic editor as you can see if you need more information as I told you you can get into the link over here there is a link uh, if there is a new version or etc so you can as you can see everything is done now it will all by itself Enable monitoring mode WLP 12S0 and it will be done. And after it's scan, it's scan, it will be. I don't know, it will clearly tell you how it will steps. Then, thank you. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and comment me everything you, you if you need help. I'll show you by I will post a video. Thank you.